With snowmobiles going further and further into the backcountry, it is imperative that riders carry and know how to use the proper safety gear. To try and help educate the sledding public, the Canadian Avalanche Centre holds demonstration and promotional events they call Avalanche Awareness Days. But uh, what we do here is we just raise general public awareness of avalanche safety and give, give people an opportunity to practice their transceiver search skills, their shoveling technique, things like that. Give them information and awareness on the programs and services available at the Canadian Avalanche Centre. Given the needs and challenges, we asked Carol if she thought sledders are becoming better educated. I'm seeing a huge shift since I was the president of the Golden Snowmobile Club in the early 2000s. Um, it's, it's been amazing, it's heartwarming to see. I still see that there's a need for more education. There are still people out there that are not carrying the proper equipment, but we're seeing progress every year and it's, it's amazing. I love snowmobiling and it's great to see the shift in our culture. Also on site for this Awareness Day was Greg Paltinger, Avalanche Assistant with the Ministry of Transportation. The Canadian Avalanche Centre is, is making great efforts uh, to, to um, get the information out to the public, to the snowmobile, to the snowmobile community, and uh, the message is definitely getting out there. Through, through public bulletins, through, through awareness programs such as this one today, and uh, avalanche courses, and um, certainly through the media, the message is loud and clear. Brett Strand, the event organizer, tells us that when it comes to avalanche safety and awareness, snowmobilers are now starting to catch up with the ski industry. No, I think it's just good to see that uh, the sledder community is really grasping onto the safety aspect. I think um, they're in their infancy and just starting to understand where they're going and with the, the power of the sleds and where they can go, they're getting up into the high alpine and stuff a lot, just like the skiing community was 20, 30 years ago. So. I think they're on the learning curve that the other industry has already experienced and uh, they seem to be grasping a hold quite well. If riding in the backcountry is what you like to do, then preparing with information on the forecast and danger ratings and carrying the proper gear and knowing how to use it just makes too much sense. It could save your life.